Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is channel for all the PS Vita fans, welcome! Today I'm taking a look at some of the PS Vita homebrew news that happened recently. There were some new bounties created, as well as some upcoming games teased, and some more interesting PS Vita news, so without any further ado, let's dive right into the video. Let's begin with the biggest news that I'm sure everybody is aware of now. That being the fact that the PS Store for PS Vita and PS3 is not closing down, at least for now, so it will stay with us for a little longer. That's an excellent news, however to be completely honest, the thing I like the most about the PS Store is the background music. <laughs> it might seem ridiculous, but uh, the music is really catchy, same like with the stock PS Vita music playing in the background, that one is also pretty cool, and it will stay with us forever. Unlike the PS Store, that will be gone as soon as Sony will figure out what to do with it. Obviously the access to the PS Store is great, but the only benefit I see is the option for third-party developers to publish their shiny new games. Other than that, I can't see much contribution. For example, I haven't purchased a single game from the PS Store in the last year. I've bought only physical games. Why? Because there are just no good deals, no reduced prices. There are just set prices that haven't changed for God knows how long. Like you can still purchase Black Ops Declassified or Need for Speed Most Wanted for £45 or you can get it physical for £10-£15. Quite a difference, isn't it? I'm not claiming it's all overpriced, there are still good deals, I'm saying there is no rhyme or reason for these prices. Resident Evil Revelations 2 for £25, which is on the Switch eShop for more than half price plus it's obviously much better port and much better experience. I think you get the idea. It's absolutely necessary to preserve the games, of course. However, this more than preserving seems like holding on to the past instead of embracing it. There is one more benefit I can see, the shift in Sony's mindset. Since when they are listening to fans, I can't remember. We'll have to wait and see if they are serious about it or they are just pretending it. Let's move on to the bounties. First, $20 one is for PS Vita port of Z Gloom, which is a set of decent Doom clones from back in the day, Gloom, Gloom Deluxe, Gloom Free and Zombie Massacre. Clearly where there is a Doom style game there is my interest, so I'm hoping for some eager dev soul to take on this challenge and materialize this concept. Second, $500 bounty has been opened for PS Vita port of Mountain Blade Warband. Whole $500 has been paid already by a single person, which means he has to be a really huge fan of the game and he can't live without it. Mountain Blade Warband is a medieval strategy action RPG. You can fight battles, conquer castles, command your men, recruit companions, enter tournaments, trade goods and make deals. I haven't played this game yet, but it looks like a loads of fun and I feel it would be a great contribution to the PS Vita library. So let's hope the 500 quid, 500 dollars I mean, is high enough incentive for this port to happen. Next, I would like to highlight some upcoming mostly homebrew games that are coming to the PS Vita in the near future. First one being the Invasion, game developed by NYXZ. There is the tweet as you can see with some gameplay. It will be coming to Alpha next month on PS Vita via homebrew. I can't wait for y'all to see it, I can't wait too. Thank you. 
Next we have got upcoming participant in the QHN PS Vita homebrew contest. It appears to be some kind of beat em up, which I'm a big fan of, developed by White GCG. So I'm really looking forward to see and play the final product. Another homebrew game that is uh, gonna be a part of QN contest is uh, this one developed by Arthur Gala. I hope that's how you pronounce it, as I'm not really good with this as book as letters. It is some kind of racing slash drifting game made by Unity and it looks very promising. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Last game that was teased yesterday is some kind of multiplayer game. It's too early to tell if it's a battle royale, a battle royale or something else, but it looks absolutely promising. It's developed by Vita Hex, which means the quality is guaranteed, as there were many enjoyable games released already by this dev. I'm looking forward for that one as well. There were also some new ports released. I'll be looking at them in my upcoming video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. It's greatly appreciated. I would like to also thank the developers for the great work they are doing and for keeping the Vita alive. It's also greatly appreciated. Which game do you like the most guys? Are you looking forward for the release? Let me know down in the comment section below. Finally, I would like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Subscription to the channel means you won't miss upcoming content, so I would seriously consider it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.